Think safety first. Hi, this is Rick Martins with Martins Minirrigation. Let's take a look at some drag hose application safety. The learning objectives of this segment are to identify the hazards or potential hazards using high pressure hoses and to identify safe operating procedures for field application. This is a PTO high pressure setup. It's an older unit, but we can learn from it. If you look at the tractor, this particular tractor only enters in from the left side of the tractor. As it's sitting on the lagoon, it's sitting right next to the slope. So as you're getting in and out, you have the potential to slide down into the water or into the manure and drown. You want to make sure that when you're parking equipment up on the lagoons, that there's easy access in and out and you're not on a slippy surface and that you have good parking brakes. Stationary units have come into play over the years and, and they've been very useful. However, we want to make sure that when we're building or maintaining or using these, we have the controls in the proper place. If you look at this unit, you can see that the high pressure hose comes off right behind the rear tires of the unit. This also happens to be right where you're standing, just ahead of that, where the controls of the box are for throttling up and throttling down. You want to make sure that these controls are far enough away from the hose, so if the connection comes loose or if there's an issue on discharge, you're not in its way. In field application, we want to make sure that we operate safely in the field. We operate at speeds that we can stay in the tractor seat. We want to make sure that if needed, that we're wearing our seat belts. Tractor, we have to make sure that that is properly sized for the equipment we're pulling. We want to make sure that there's enough weight on the front end so that we can steer it and maintain control. Never allow riders to ride on the, the step or inside of the door and make sure that there's a training seat available when you're training any new operators. Take adequate breaks. It's very important that we combat fatigue in the field. You need to learn your limits and ask for breaks as needed. Fatigue is dangerous. It kills and maims and it damages equipment and property. In a hose drag operation, Sometimes the working pressures get up over 200 PSI. These hoses can whip and fly around when broken or shattered. The hazards include the bursting of the hose and failure connections. The risk could be a sudden impact or hose contact, could be flooding and drowning. We had an incident many years ago where the connection came loose off of the pump. The hose whipped side to side and it stripped my dad's feet from underneath him. It also threw his head into the pump that was standing there and knocked him out. He was laying unconscious on the ground for a short period of time and the manure continued to run. So there was a possibility of drowning. Fortunately, he woke up and was able to pull himself from that area. However, he did get a broken leg and was out of commission for the rest of the season. Be knowledgeable. Proper training on equipment makes safe, efficient application. Remember, locate equipment safely and securely at the pumping location. Locate operating controls away from potential hazards, hoses, and have safe a tentative operation in the field. Make sure that you're awake and away from any other stress in the field.